hello everyone welcome to the next lesson of our spring security course so in this lesson i'm going to talk about uh, uh, the access denied exception or the pages and this is really critical if you are working on an application where application can have a different authorizations in the sense that uh, probably an admin user may have access to all the all the sections by while let's say if an if it's not an admin user it's just a manager right he may not have access to everything else so even if you are logging into your application if you try to go to those sections uh, the system will not allow you to access those one right and within the spring security this mechanism is already in place so that means if you define your authorization uh, while you defining your spring security configurations and i will give you an example what does that mean uh, so spring security will automatically see okay who is the user who is the logged in user uh, do the login user have the privileges to go to this specific url if yes then everything will work as expected if not the system will throw a uh, access denied exception and ultimately there is a, uh, a default 403 page which will be shown to the customer right so in this in this lesson we are going to see in in these scenarios probably you don't want to throw any uh, out uh, kind of a default uh, pages right you want to handle it in a different way let's say you want to record that information who was the user who is trying to go to a specific section and probably you want to take some additional actions so we're going to look into all those different things how you can basically intercept that workflow how you can add your custom logic into it and eventually show a custom access denied page to the to the user for a better understanding okay so i'm again to our application which we are building during this course if you see this patterns they dictate for a given pattern url pattern right what is the kind of authority who has a permission to access those things okay so for example what we are saying is anything with the login register and home it's permitted for everyone right so user with any kind of a permissions any kind of a role or authorities uh, uh, they they can access it and i'm talking about roles and authorities uh, we'll be talking about that in our next lesson because it's very uh, it's very important that you understand what are the rules and authorities and how they works into the spring security but for now uh, let's keep it simple in the sense that in the next one what we are saying that anything with the account right at this pattern if the customer has a if the user logged in user has a customer authority only then they will be able to access that one so any other user with a different authority will not be able to access that section okay so let's do one thing and this will be uh, this section if you remember from our previous lesson this section is once you log in into the application okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to change it to admin because all my customers register customers have a role as a customer okay uh, i'm keeping it simple because ultimately there is a, there can be an argument that okay ultimately admin is also a customer but for for the simplicity of this tutorial i'm keeping those as a two separate authorities okay so now what is happening what i'm saying is this section is only accessible to the admin so what we are going to do is we are going to do a login and then see if i am able to go to account page or not application got started i am on to the login screen let's try to do a login with a valid credentials okay so i am doing a login and you see i am getting this white level error page so if you are not using a spring boot you will get that 403 access denied page as a spring security default page but since i am we are using a spring boot uh, the spring boot has this infamous white label error page so that means anything where it's not able to uh, get the error mapping it will throw this page but ultimately what is happening is that there is a access denied exception being thrown by the spring security even though you are a valid and a locked in users and at the end of this lesson we will also debug it to give you a better understanding how the entire thing is working all right now we don't want to do that right if you are a logged in user so ultimately we want to give you a 
maybe a better page or a better error handling or a message and all those things and that depends how do you want to display that message right but at the same time we also want to a record or probably do some additional in kind of a processing when this kind of a error happen because you also want to see who is trying to access those pages where you are not authorized and probably want to take some action on that one okay so let's see what are the different steps that are required to uh, create a custom uh, error page there okay so the first thing what we are going to do is of course because it's a custom page so we have to build a custom uh, html page right so i have already created it it's a simple html page i'm not going to talk about that one but it's a html page with with your content so put whatever you want to put into that content whatever the message or uh, the screen you want to show to the customer okay so this is straightforward now let's see what are the different ways uh, or the flexibility that is in place uh, with the spring security when it comes to handling these kind of a scenarios okay so what i'm going to do is okay this is an exception handling thing right so if i say this is an exception handling right because the, i'm i'm going to do the exception handling for that one and then access denied handler right so there are two ways uh, where spring uh, in short spring security provides us to two options uh, in the sense that how do we want to handle this scenario one is access denied page i can directly confine i can directly give a access denied page url and it will automatically pass the control to that url and things will work as expected right uh, the only problem with this one is by the time your uh, your uh, request is handed over to that controller or your uh, your page most of the things are already being cleared out by spring security as part of the security mechanism for example the authentication object will be cleared out a current request and response object will be cleared out there will be a new request and response and there are other things as well right so it depends if you don't need anything you just want to show up message or you just want to show a page uh, the access denied page will basically fulfill your needs there is another option where you can configure your access denied handler so this is a an handler and we have already talked about the handlers for example a success and failure handler so it's a part of the same family right so you can create your access handler the advantage with this one is within this access handler you have access to the authentication object that means you can edit, you can find out who was who is the user current user who was trying to uh, go to that specific page uh, what is the username and all those certain things and then you will have access to the that specific request and response so for this one we are going to use the access to land uh, handler and in order to do that all you have to do is create an access denied handler and access and extend the or or implement the access denied interface okay so this is very straightforward i have already created it just to save some time for us okay so this is our access denied handler so it's very straightforward as i said it's only implementing this access denied handler and if you see what i was talking about you have the request you have the response you have the access denied exception right and within this context when the the request is being transferred to this handle method you can get the access of the authentication object right so I'm, what i'm doing is i'm getting the authentication from the security context holder and i'm just logging in this is just an example but you can run any additional information for example you want to store it somewhere else you want to send it uh, to do some actions maybe send a notifications uh, triggering any event it's up to you whatever you want to do that okay and ultimately what i am doing is i am basically redirecting kind of a customer to this controller okay so this since i'm working on we are working on the spring mbc i'm passing that information to the access denied controller okay so that's all about this one the last part of our configuration is we have to basically uh, create a controller which is going to handle this uh, this uh, request right 
so all you have to do is either you can add it to maybe your uh, generic exception handle controller but for in this case i have created a access denied handler so i'm i'm not doing any anything specific here but all i'm doing is i'm mapping to that i'm doing a mapping for the access denied thing and just returning my view which is the access denied uh, page all right and the last thing is in this one so once you define your custom handler you have to create a bean okay so i have already created this access denied bean right it's a very standard configuration you just define it is with a bean annotation that's all you need and then we will tell this configuration that hey this is my handler and now just to complete it i'm going to do a and so that's the only thing you required in order to integrate configure and set up a custom access denied page for your spring security application so let's do one thing let's restart our application and see this end to end workflow in action okay my application got started we are on to the login screen let's do try to do a login with the valid credentials okay so this user called java dev journal one already have a registered account it is valid the only difference is this user got an customer uh rules or a permissions what we have changed that anything and slash uh account and anything after that one will be only accessible to the admin user right so let's try to do a login here now if you see instead of having that default spring security error page uh, we are getting a 403 uh, access to page and this is our custom page and if you look into this uh, uh, url right now this is being handled through our custom access denied uh, controller right so that's give us you an idea if you want to customize it and of course when you are working on a real production application you should be doing that thing you don't want to show them a, a, a kind of a out of a context error page with no messaging and probably for all those kind of a things you want to do a additional things and mostly what happen is uh, for most of the application if someone is trying to go to a uh, Uh, a page which is not if you are not authorized probably you want to log in that information you want to store that information to to do some kind of a sec a regular security audit things where you want to see what are the most areas where customers are trying to access what kind of a customers are trying to go to those sections and all those things so i hope this give you an idea how this how you can use the spring security flexible architecture to do those kinds of things and if you like my tutorials and the series please uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel